Hello Internet, welcome to the second video about Big 3 TH uh, SKR Mini 3. What I'm currently trying to do, I'm trying to uh, run Clipper via UART with uh, Fluid, uh, Fluid Pi. I updated the latest Fluid Pi. I tried to compile firmware for um, this board and actually the CPU wasn't uh, in, a, in a list of available um, CPUs to compile a firmware. So what I had to do, I had to go on original um, big 3 tech GitHub account, and I found uh, compile firmware out there with um, UART. It actually is not working. After latest uh, Clipper update, it is complaining about, I think it's about pins and you know, different places to restart. I think they fixed the bug where uh, it wasn't restarting the board properly because after update, uh, updating, installing the update to my uh, second version board, um, I have significantly less problems with restarting the printer. So it requires recompiled firmware, but there is no um, available C uh, firmware out there. The next step will be to figure out what to do with it. I'm running a board from my uh, bench power supply. Uh, UART actually um, powers Raspberry Pi and should be more than enough. This is um, Raspberry Pi W first generation, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, I want to buy a second one because I want to run the camera on this printer. And um, I guess the next challenge will be to figure out what to do um, uh, the firmware. I think I can uh, pull older clipper into the flash card instead of what, what I have right now uh, from big 3 um GitHub account and run it this way. So I see you in a few seconds. So welcome back. Uh, looks like uh, I were able to figure out. Um, here's uh, our clipper running shows temperature and everything. So um, turns out that Big3 has a GitHub repository where they explain that they use not the latest firmware, but um, they have like a instruction how you can compile the firmware, but you actually can use pre-compiled one. The only thing you'll have to do if you, if you use up-to-date uh, Fluid Pi firmware, you'll have to log in into your Pi or SSH into your Pi rename existing folder, clipper folder, and just use git clone and clone uh, the big 3 um files out here. Pretty much uh, you clone the repository, it has all the files, you don't even have to do anything. After you uh, clone it, you upload your config and you can use it. Uh, one of the things um, I can actually advise. Big3 Tech has a very nice repository with all the uh, manuals and everything for that board. So if you're looking for wiring diagram and everything, they have everything, which I was actually very surprised. It's very nice, very detailed, and you can find all the connections and everything pinned out. Um, in order to make board work without all the printer, you need to uh, heater thermistors because um, configuration doesn't allow you to, to uh, uh, run it without uh, minimum and maximum temperature set, so um, and it, you need to detect it. So that's everything. the way everything works. I use UART, as I mentioned before, and uh, I will assemble my printer and try to print it. I think that's uh, a summary for this video. I hope it will help someone. Um, if you have questions, just comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.